Hello, I'm Luke Perry. And I'm Kay Matheson, and you're watching WCAT's Middle School Monthly News. <laughs> Can you already believe that it's December and exams are right around the corner? I can't. The year went by so quickly. Kate, okay, remember the science fair? Yes, it feels so long ago. Let's see what amazing projects fellow 8th graders made. <laughs> we had a number of really good projects, and not just the top 10 winners that get to go to the regional fair. That is the next phase for um, the science fair participants, and they're only, but only the top 10 projects can go. The regional fair is January 30th, and it includes um, just a great number of schools throughout the metropolitan Atlanta area. Then, if they win a first place in the regional fair, they can go to the state fair, which is later in March, um, and is a big deal. It's a really good experience. Those projects were very interesting. Congratulations to all the ribbon winners. Now let's see how students are feeling about exams. Exam. I'm feeling ready for my math exam. So I'm really ready for my math exam because I've been studying for that. And I don't think I'm ready for my science exam because that's the hardest subject. I feel like that's going to be a really hard exam, so I have to prepare more. I'm nervous for French because we haven't done it before. I think I'm ready for my science and English exam, but I'm a little nervous for my math and Latin exam. Well, I'm nervous for my uh, math exam because uh, it's just some of the stuff that's really confusing for me. And then I feel really good for my English exam because I've reviewed the study guide a lot and I enjoy it. Yes, I've been studying really hard and I'm ready. I'm going to crush it. I'm glad people are feeling confident. Now, let's check in with the basketball teams to see how their season is going. So this is my first season coaching the middle school basketball team for Westminster. Uh, so far, the girls are having a lot of fun, and uh, we've won two games, and we're hoping to build on that. It's going pretty well so far. We've uh, played nine games, and we're, our record is 6-3. and three. Uh, We recently lost two very close games. Well, as a team, we're really working on our movement. We're working on passing the ball and moving, and uh, we're really working on trying to get spacing uh, on the floor so, that's, so that we can score a lot more points. The, uh, our biggest competition so far has been Maris, Blessed Trinity, and Pius, uh, although we face uh, a pretty strong Wesleyan team this Saturday, so that'll be a good test as well. And um, we're really having a lot of fun, so we're looking forward to the rest of the season. I can't wait to play Holy Innocence tomorrow. We recently were reminded of digital citizenship by Westminster alumni. Let's go to Laura Gracie for more. Hi, I'm Laura Gracie with WCAT, and I'm here with Emma Reifenberger, who's here to talk to the middle school about digital citizenship. Emma, what was your main message for the middle school today? I think my main message was just to be careful about what you post and if you wouldn't want your boss seeing something, one, should you be posting it and then two, should you even be doing it and um, so kind of the negative sides of it but then also how social media can be used for the good and it can connect people and I've actually hired some people through social media which is really cool so um, social media is not going away so I think the big takeaway is how can we be good users and consumers of social media. Okay, Emma, where do you work and what do you do there? Yeah, so I work for a software company called Soltech and I am a recruiter there. So basically what that means is I interview and hire people for a living. Okay, well, thank you so much for talking to me. What were some of your greatest memories from, from Westminster? Oh man, so many. <laughs> um, I would say, so probably some of my favorite memories were, were surrounding sports, um, being on teams and some state championships. And then I would say too, just the community that's formed at Westminster is just something that's really special. I'm still really close with all of my Westminster friends and a lot of the teachers. And so I think it just fosters a really good community. Okay, well, thank you so much for talking to me, Emma. Yeah, Have a great course. day. And thank you. thank you for talking about digital citizenship. Yeah, I'm Laura great. Gracie signing out, WCAT. Thanks, Laura. Well, that's all for this month. I'm Lou Perique. And I'm Kay Matheson. From all of us at WCAT, we hope you have a happy holidays and a happy new year.